Beat time. Welcome, Boyar Tactics here, and today we are going to do another video on the Barak Templars because I think I didn't cover a lot of stuff, and this video will be most focused on strategies and stuff that like this mod has a lot of stuff, and you and it does not explain to you like. It's really hard to find this information and today I'm going to make it easy and show you all the cool stuff that you might not know. So um, I'll just do a small uh, small fire match here, skirmish match. Oh, I don't, yeah, this looks good, okay. And of course I'll be uh, Black Templars versus... I don't know. Random, let's leave it at random. Okay, and um, yeah, um, I think this will be a tutorial video, like a, a tutorial on more advanced stuff of Black Templars, yeah. So first of all, let me pause the game and um, yeah, because I want to start explaining some stuff. So the first thing, the first building as a Black Templar is the Crusade Landing Site. And when you select it, you have uh, Tech Marine Builders like this guy here. See how cool he is, and I think he's. Uh, well, I think the strongest builder, or one of the strongest builder in game. Look at that. And of course, he can be used uh, for combat. Now, let's get back to the Crusade landing site. So, from this building, we can build Tech Marine Builders, Crusader Squads, Castellan, uh, Chaplains, and uh, after we cho choose one of these vows, we will get the uh, um, Emperor's Champ. So now you are asking yourself, what what is the business with this vows? So this is um, yeah a bit more complex, and I'll explain how those things work. So and I also will leave a link uh, to a forum where uh, you can read the stuff that I'm telling you. So don't panic, don't panic. Everything is cool. So the first we got is. This one, uphold the hon honor of the emperor. So, if you select this vow, it cons um, it consumes fifty percent of all free types of damage, but also should disable cover bonuses in a radius near your uh, uh, HQ, namely the crusade landing site, on nine thousand nine hundred. Well, all over the map. Basically, so if you choose this, you'll get like 50% damage reduction, but you also don't get any cover from stuff like, uh, I don't know, where is the crater? Dan Crater, where are you? Uh, anyway, so you know those things that give you cover, well, see, like this one, you don't. It's like cover, but you won't, uh, or technically you should not get cover. And um, if you you must get uh, you for this vows to work, you need the uh, emperor's champion on the battlefield. So only when you have that guy, you can get those things. And he also gets by choosing this vow, he gets shield of fate in uh, only in charge state. Okay. Now let's go to um, the the next one, uh, namely abhor the witch and destroy the witch. And I guess the name tells what this vow basically will affect. Namely, um, adds plus six to um, uh, emperor's champion kin side, and within fifty uh, radius of. Um, Emperor's Champion, he disables the abilities of Librarians, Sorcerers, Psychic Psychers, Canoness, Confessor, Archons, and uh, in 
incubus. Hopefully I said that right. So no more uh, psychic abilities. You are done for. And also within the radius 200 around the HQ, namely this building, it increases the speed of your infantry by 1.2 or 1.25 times. So you run faster around here. You'll, you'll be like chickens. Yeah. All, uh, all over the place. And in this state, uh, Imperial Emperor's Champion has a constant shield of faith. So yeah, that sounds cool. Okay. Then, uh, the next one is this, namely suffer not the unclean to live. So what does this do? Well, within 40 radius, Around Imperial Champions, all units with monster, medium, and high armor type have speed decrease and moral degradation. But you must take into uh, you must think very carefully if you choose this because it uh, the effect um, tran um, how can I, uh, it also affects not only your enemies but your allies. So very, you must be very careful if you choose this one, or you might just be trolling and then go right ahead. And also, um, yeah, increases the minimum and maximum damage of melee weapons. Now that's real cool. That makes you re hit really hard. Um, and uh, Imperial uh, Emperor's Champion. I don't know why I want to say Imperial, but hey. Sorry, Emperor's Champion has constant shield of faith. And the last one, accept any challenge no matter the odds. So what does this valve do? Well, it increases charge distance of infantry and increases melee accuracy. Well, for uh, increases accuracy for melee weapons. So when you swing a sword like 20 kilo sword you won't miss. That's, that's good to know. And also Emperor's Champion has Shield of Faith only in charge state. So charge state for those two guys and for those like the first and the last and the middle ones is constant. Okay, so um, I don't know. I'll, I'll go um, outside. Let's go with Suffer, not the unclean to live. Here we go. Perfect. Now, also, I want to talk about the champion a bit. So, the champion, the emperor champion. Let me just uh, unpause for. There we go. Now, it, uh, if you see it, uh, researches instantly. So now we'll get the um, button to build the emperor champion. But uh, of course, you need the uh, the armory first. And the Crusade fleet support. And this one. Like, you need to get another, uh, like the first upgrade, I guess, for the Crusader landing site for your HQ. So, um, this guy is, um, the most deadliest killer you'll get of killing enemy commanders. And, of course, as I said, he gives the wow vows Upon uh, your arm. So he is kind of a must. You always have to have this guy on the battlefield. Or try to have him as soon as possible. Okay. Um, the chaplain, I guess, I don't know exactly. But I think he's just like the normal one. Like he uh, yeah, has devastating melee attack. Yes. Uh, you know, the normal stuff for, from Space Marine. He heals a lot of stuff and makes your units uh, thus more durable. They don't die so fast and he hits like a donkey. Donkey! Anyway, um, the Castellan, this is your first um, commander unit after you build the barracks or the armory you'll get this guy. Well, barracks. Oh yeah, oh wait. And armor, so I said it correctly. Okay, so this guy is good in melee. Like the whole idea of the Black Templar is, is a faction 
focused on melee combat. So you must go into melee and you must kill the other guy. That's a must. So um, this guy is very useful, especially in the beginning of the match. Why? Because, well, oh gee, I have books on this mod already. I can't find the right page. So, um, yeah, yes, uh, see, yes, uh, I don't know, I, I think I might, so, you must first understand, when you have units, like, I w will have the normal style right now, so I'll build a crusader squad, and let, maybe you can go like two crusader squads, and then a tech marine, and maybe another crusader squad, and, uh, yeah, this sounds good, like a normal. Or you could just go for one Crusader Squad, then a Tech Marine, so you can build uh, your stuff faster. Uh, but this is kind of a normal opening. You can like go fast now. You will have uh, three Crusader Squads that capture, and you can be offensive as well. And now the question will be, I know I skipped the part of the castle, but I'll get to it later because it's a more advanced topic. So um, afterwards you got your uh, build here. Uh, I don't, yeah, that's good, that's good. I wanna, I think they'll, uh, they'll be built with aggressive stance, so they'll go into melee like crazy. And after that, you have the choice now. You either go for the stronghold barracks or for the armory. Now, why I say that? In normal games, you always go for the barracks, like the space marine guys. But now, you can skip that because you don't get scouts, you get these guys, the Crusader Scouts, and they are kind of good. In the, they are expandable like heck, but still they'll do a better job than scouts. And yeah, they can keep up with a lot of stuff. So, stronghold barracks is, mm, mm, kinda good, kinda bad. You only get, uh, I guess, um, Black Templar support squad. Those are ranged units. So if you wanna put the pain on the enemy in range, then you can go for the stronghold barracks. Because the advanced units are a lot more, you need to build uh, other stuff to get those guys. So, uh, uh, barracks right from the start is, it can be delayed. Or, uh, you can go for the armory. Of course, you don't need to listen, you can go for the barracks as well. Or the other uh, choice is the armory. So, the armory, and I will go uh, build this thing first. What does it do? Well, of course, it uh, makes uh, allows me to uh, improve my units, make them uh, tougher, uh, like right away. So when I get into melee, I'll know for sure that I will win any battle. So let me unpause and get things started here. So the armory is there, and after an armory, you'll generally want to build a power generator. Okay, great. So let's see. First Crusader, you can al also click here to, here. Ready for to um, capture points. Now, um, also remember, I'm not exactly an expert on uh, Don't know I'm like not the best player ever. But still, I know a bit about the mod and its particularities, and I'll, uh, I also was corrected by a comrade, brother in arm, and I want to share that knowledge. So, um, the Crusader Squad. Well, those guys, besides the cool model, like, come on, it's so cool, it's so cool. So, um, this is your basic guys you'll have. So, you can reinforce them. They'll have neophytes. And I, I'm not particularly uh, knowledge in uh, the lore. Like, I don't know, like, all the armies and all the tabletop uh, stuff. But I think those guys are scouts, um, if I'm correctly. Like, um, 
if I uh, remember, I know the Black Templars don't have scout, uh, like they don't make scout uh, scout squads separately and they serve purposes like attacking from afar and all that stuff. They'll uh, put those squads in the front line, uh, right shoulder by shoulder, shoulder by shoulder with uh, your main guys. So they'll serve on the battlefield. Yeah, hopefully I said that correctly. And also, another cool thing that I remember um, is that uh, there are a lot of Black Templars. Those guys are um, crusader, like crusaders. They go, they don't have a planet, um, you know, like a home world. They are a ship, a ship-based uh, chapter. And they have like hundreds of crusades and go all over the um, uh, universe and kill stuff, you know, a lot of stuff. And they, their numbers are also a lot bigger. I think uh, the normal size for a chapter would be like 1,000 uh, marines and they, I don't know, have thousands of uh, crusaders because you can't really know how many they are because they are so spread all over and they kill stuff and also they're the chapter they are from are the imperial fist so there you go you will also get a bit of uh, insight yay okay so neophytes um, you'll get those guys and now you can upgrade the, the crusader squad with uh, flamers plasma pistols and i have been uh, criticized by people saying that uh, that's an irrational uh, spend of requisition, even though my middle name is irrational, I must agree with that statement. Indeed, it kind of is. You know, like plasma is good for uh, well, flamer is good for uh, morale. Like if you wanna break the morale of the enemy, go right ahead and go for flamers. Plasma is for tougher enemies. Like I don't know knobs and all that cool stuff that is hard to kill and but if you upgrade plasma for crusader they kind of die easily you know like they are not exactly terminators so you lose that uh, that thing now the ideal choice um, is the power weapons of course kind of obvious for melee based uh, faction and power fist you know power fists are really cool for high fiving and all stuff i think that those are anti vehicle weapons so and yeah, that was where a strength and allow them nah, yeah so they damage armor a lot better now something very specific to this monk those guys, especially now, so let's see, let's say I take the Crusader squad and go crazy, like I will soon will, and attack the enemy. Now, the problem is that um, this mod is done very well. Well, it's not a problem, it's actually really cool, but it takes a lot from the tabletop game. So if you are a fan, you'll be, you feel right at home. And because it takes the righteous zeal. So, what does that do? Well, if I loot one of those guys or lose more of these guys, they kind of go into crazy mode, if you might say so, kind of. And um, they don't want to take your commands anymore. So they'll get into combat and they'll stay there and you can't command them. But, but, there are also cool things about them. When they are in um, the zeal, um, frenzy, righteous zeal stuff, they gain additional, like, they are deadlier. A lot more deadlier for a period of time. And I think you can uh, notice this by purple or red auras uh, around them. Now, how can you um, keep a command of your squad? Well, here uh, comes the castellan in play. 
So this guy, what does he do? Well, if you um, attach this uh, the castle to a squad, for example, like this one, first of all, it, uh, it gives permanent righteous zeal to the squad. So they'll become deadlier all the time, like really deadly. And second of all, they'll uh, due to his authority and he's like, yeah, dudes, you listen to me or I'll bash your heads through the wall or something like that. He keeps command of the squad at all times. And later on, well, I'll speak when, uh, I'll talk about that when I, uh, the armor is ready. Like it's an upgrade for the armor where you can purchase that thing and it, uh, uh, increases the righteous zeal effect and, there is no more uh, l l laws, like you don't lose control of your squad anymore. So, let's get back. Okay. And I know, I know, I'm playing hard, but I, I, I really focus when I'm talking too much on talking and too little on playing. And I'm uh, kind of slow then. Ready to lead the like and also a good tip is to use shortcuts. Like you see, everything here has a shortcut. Like I don't know T or S. Use those things, and you'll be ten times faster. But that's that's the basic. Like I'm just want to talk about the mods, mod in itself. You know? How to understand to understand it better, so that you will know what you are doing. Okay, so the armor is done. Now let, I can upgrade my uh, stuff. My um, guy. Okay. And now this is the normal stuff. Like you'll do capture as many points as possible and annoy the enemy as much as possible. So, and I also should uh, bring the castle in uh, on the field. That would be cool. But due to the fact that I already built three squads, now it's kind of a bit harder for me. So, so I'll focus on listening posts. Okay, great. And I still don't know why, I, like, the flags. Didn't I install them all correctly, or am I missing the banners? Okay. So, target finders. Yeah, perfect. And this will, of course, make my uh, infantry very cool. Now, you will have plasma pistol, war gear, and power weapons. Now, in the normal game, if I uh, recall, like the Space Marines, those things will uh, give uh, plasmas and power weapons to your sergeants but you don't have sergeants here so um, this will just allow you to build uh, power weapons and plasmas to your squads like um, upgrade what is his build, is Commander? Ready to assault in next position. Okay. Melee squad, ready for I guess now I'll uh, meet the enemy. Let's, let's see who he, who he is. I wonder. I'm so curious right now. Ah, I see. Now I can build uh, this guy. Castle. Necrons. Just great. Well, then it means I really need to uh, expand fast. Like I sh uh, should not allow. Oh no! Here is the next Oh wait, what did he go? So, anyways, um, it, general good idea is to capture as many points when you fight Necron. So that way he won't uh, expand really fast. He can't. He needs those points for. Uh, or uh, faster troop build. build. Okay, now let me uh, split up my build. This one will build this nesting point, and the other one will build power generators. Okay, now great. Okay, let's see if I can take those guys on. And I come also from behind, and my castle 
really needs to join to one of these squads. And let's see if my guys can deal with this threat or not. Okay. Uh, come on guys, reinforcements is on the way. Okay. Uh, stuff is not getting just now my castle is attached to the squad now all is fine uh, do you see this aura now th that means they are in righteous zeal you know this purplish red aura so there you go now the squad hits real hard well, and they are see see now they are retreating like they are like oh heck no Dark tank class. No, no. Thank you very much. I don't need the sword on my uh, shiny hole. Okay, and let me just destroy this opalist so that I'll make their life a lot more uh, painful. And a good idea is to build a lot of power generators for, uh, like, I want to go vehicles, and I need a lot of power for vehicles. Okay. Now let's go for more. I, I might just decap this. Like not capture it, just this decapping it. So that uh, the Necrons will lose their uh, time capturing it again. Yeah, I'm, I know, I love trolling my enemies. Okay, now let's see. And uh, see, like I don't, I don't spend as much stuff as I should. Oh no, 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 no! Get away! Get away, you necron! Like you see how much, re how many resources I have? Yeah, due to the fact that I'm constantly talking and I don't spend the resources as I should. Okay, let uh, let's try to kill that uh, necron lord. Come on, guys! Come on! Kill that blasted neck! Oh, gee, that's not cool. Now I have also plasmas, but I really need those power swords right now. And I might just start upgrading my uh, listening posts so that I get more resources. Like, come on! Okay, okay. They kind of start to begin to amass quite the force here of those Necrons. But you all, like a good strategy for uh, this army is always keep attacking the enemy. Don't let them build or do stuff. Attack, attack, attack. And now a good idea would be to retreat as I see. I, I lost a squad. Damn it. And now here is the... Let me pause a bit. Okay, so here is the Stronghold Baron. And I'm kind of getting my something kicked by those damn flayed ones. Yeah, damn. Those are kind of experts in melee. Anyways, so now that the Stronghold Barracks is built, what can we build? Where? Well, we can build a Crusader Fire Support Squad. As I said, those guys are um, the ranged dudes. The Crusader Squad, the Assault Marines. Like, uh, these ones are good for fighting Taos, for example. Like, if you want to make a Taos guy re uh, pay a lot, you go for a Sol Marines and Command Squad. So, the Command Squad has a lot of stuff. And I'll show you as soon as I build that thing. Then you got Sword Brethren Squad that are very tough units. Then you got Terminators. And we all know what Terminators do with enemies. Well, uh, in general, if they meet gene stealers, then yeah, yeah, not not very good for uh, terminators. Anyways, um, let's continue. And see, I didn't lose my uh, my um, control over my squad. Okay. Anyways, stuff is looking... it's not that bad as you might think. Because we kind of destroyed one of their listening posts and they, they didn't capture this point. This one is decapped. They probably have this one and maybe this one. Like they have three, uh, three points compared to mine. 
Like I have a lot more. Plus I'm uh, upgrading to the next Our tier. Will grant us haste. So you always must keep ahead or try uh, try to really. Now here we go. This is what I wanted. The Crusader Seal. Now. I think this is the the one that I um, yes this is the one. So the Crusaders uh, seal is a very good research. I might just uh, no wait. I don't have the uh, the required uh, resources. So the Crusader seal brings the righteous zeal idea to a whole new level. Like it makes them really bad, like deadly as heck, and more durable. And the most important thing is that they, uh, the, your squads won't lose control anymore. Like, never. Ever. So you need this one. Like, it's a must. So you need it. The greatest thing ever. And let's hope I will win this match. Hopefully. Ready for battle. Oh wait, no plasmas. I don't know, I have a... I, I just want to build plasmas for these guys. Because it's so irrational. Now let's build the one plasma. Come on. Nobody base. will be angry. Okay, so we have three squads. That's good. Could be better. And now I might focus on Crusader Seals. Let's see. And now you are like, uh, did you say you must press uh, push against the enemy? Constant harassment? Well, yes, but you. Don't need to be like uh, irrational you know, about it. Like you also must have a force. You must be sure of yourself that you'll kill them. Otherwise, you'll just lose your units for nothing. And especially if you don't have the Crusader seal and you rush into a group of enemy and you'll no, you probably lose. You you won't even get the chance to escape. So you must be very careful. You must think twice before engaging. This is kind of funny. Like you know, an army that's based on attacking and killing as much as possible, but you must think twice before doing that. That's a bit funny. Okay, now I have power weapons on my soldiers, and I think my enemy has already captured this point, and he kind of overextended himself. Making, yeah, here we go. And that will be an easy kill for uh, And now, I might just go for a machine cult, and try to build that as close as possible to the battlefield, so you'll know you'll... You'll fight the guy at that point, so the closer you, you know, time, your stuff, and the faster it goes to the battlefield, the better. And as you see, the AI is kind of... Okay, now he's attacking. I think... Oh no, wait, that's the obelisk. Well... Okay. Let's see how my units do, do now against... Uh, and also, I might upgrade my... Uh, my how uh, my uh, commander with the research and maybe oh no 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 let's get the emperor champion on the battlefield now stuff will start sparkling here and there okay and he's kind of built uh, his defenses right uh, quite uh, nice okay let me just reinforce. And also, if you didn't know, right-clicking on this stuff uh, will uh, constantly uh, make it. You don't need to uh, focus on it anymore. And I might just need a uh, sword brethren squad. Those guys are really tough. Okay, my castle is in a bit of a tight spot. Okay, just focus on one unit. Come on, guys. I want them. I because I really hate fighting here. Like this is a bad spot. He has uh, a lot of things pointed at me, yeah. and I don't kind of like to fight where my enemy has the advantage. And also, as I said, the enemy is a lot smarter because this mod uh, has the Dawn of War um, AI mod in it. So the enemies are a lot better than uh, the normal than the normal game. 
So you must be really careful by of what difficulty you choose. Okay, so the champion is on the field. Perfect. Now the vows enter. Enter. Uh, see how it's written there. Now everything. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that. Now let's talk about the machine card. So what do we have here? Well, we have rhinos. You know those cool stuff that you can transport real fast, real. Then we got the uh, land speeders that uh, can be upgraded with tornado assault cannons and typhoon missile launchers. So these things are really cool against vehicles. So if the enemy goes vehicle and you don't have a lot of money or didn't research the next tier to get predators, and I'm going to research right now so that I'll make my uh, my opponent's life even more annoying. Um, then you can go for land speeders. These those guys are really good uh, anti-infantry and uh, with the typhoon missile launcher upgrade, they are good uh, against vehicles as well. Just uh, the, just watch out um, that the enemy won't use uh, any anti-vehicle weapons on him because it won't last real really long. Then you have the dreadnought. We all love the dreadnought. You know, kills a lot of stuff. Very durable. And Razorback. It's kind of a rhino with a gun on it. And a bit better stuff. Then we have Predator Destructor, and we all know we love the Predator and Vindicator, a siege tank basically with a rhino chassis. And the Land Raider Crusader. So that's cool. And also, if uh, if I, my memory does not uh, deceive me. The Land Raider Crusader is made, uh, was made by the Black Templar or something like that, because, because I think those guys have something to do with it. Yeah. Anyways, let's get back to killing. Oh my goodness, how many workers does he really have now? Oh look at that! Look at my units and their frenzy stuff. Now the Necrons are like, oh crap. Oh potatoes. Potatoes. So, uh, can I get some sword right now? Or maybe a, a command squad? Maybe no. Or may I, I want... Uh, no, 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 no. The other one. Yes. And it looks like I am winning. That's actually cool. For a change. Perfect. Now let's just decap. Because I don't want to kill my enemy too fast. And let's see the Emperor's Champion against the Necron Lord. Oh wait, that was fast. Gee. Come on, Necrons. Don't, don't be that shy. And let's cap the... You must focus on relics. Those are uh, important things. Because, um, you know, if you have all the relics, you know that your enemy won't be able to build the strongest unit. So that's a good thing. Okay, and now we have a really cool unit. The Sword Brethren Squad. Oh my goodness. Look at those models. Those guys look so... Plus, look at those stats. Look at those stats. I think I'll um, attach my... Um, Champion to this squad because those guys kick and they are really resistant. You can shoot whatever you want at this squad and they'll still stand up and say, like, this is all you can do. Okay. And now maybe a uh, chaplain would be cool because my squad took some beating here and there. And I, oh no, 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 not this one. This one, yes. Perfect. And we got the Democles. Yes, uh, search through carrying. This thing, I'm not exactly sure. I think it increases your uh, efficiency or something like that. Okay, I don't like those. those uh... Okay, if they want to fight, let's fight. Who, who am I to say no to a fight? 
Plus, I have Sword Brethren and the Emperor's uh, Champion. And let's see, yeah, I, may, I, may, I managed to uh, attach my Emperor's Champion to the squad. Okay, now, let's see, uh, where is my head? Uh, okay, Brother turns. Now we know the enemy dies. Because he, he he's dead, like, come on. Predators, and I guess I can build Terminators. Oh yeah. Let's take another look at the. Like, I love how the models are made. So cool. I'm a real, a really uh, big fan of Warhammer 40k. Even though I'm not an expert, I don't know everything, but I'm amazed at the variety of stuff you get and how the how huge the lore is. So here is the cha uh, chaplain. And Fury and yeah, let's just get that guy into battle so that he can heal my squads. I guess now my squads will be even more tough for to kill. Plus, soon enough I'll have uh, Predators and let's see, uh, Orbiter Relay. Now, Orbiter Relays are good for. Um, Strategies like dropping dreadnoughts out of the sky that will annoy your enemy really much. So, here we have the Predator Destructor, and he can have blast cannons and storm bolters. Perfect. Maybe I'll build another one. And you may notice I'm not focusing on the battle because, yeah, I know they'll die. They they lost so much. Like, look at this. I destroyed their cores. They'll have a destroyer here and there, but that's all. And uh, the the Necron Lord, and he can't do a lot of stuff. Okay, so now we have the Orbiter Relay. A personal teleporter might be a good idea to research. And now we can get dreadnoughts or venerable dreadnoughts. Sword Brethren and Crusade. I wonder now if we, yeah, we can build Terminator. Let's build some Assault Terminator and then also the Limit Supply. Yeah, I see. So, um, yeah, you can only build one of all of those guys. So Sword Brethren and, uh, are like... Um, what are you doing? Are like Terminators in a way, uh, from the same limit to go or whatever. Okay, now that's bad. Poor, poor Necron. He won't even know what hit him. Lightning claws. You know, those things are really. Like, now everything is perfect. I, I don't even know if I should kill him right now. Or wait for uh, stuff to build everything that is uh, like every unit. Okay. Also, I uh, almost forgot you got tarantula uh, sentry guns. Those guns are f like from the, the Second Dawn of War, and they can um, have anti vehicles, of course, like uh, all the you know turrets. And are quite effective. I think the, uh, those are quite strong, uh, strong turrets. Plus, you can build those things like in the front line, and whenever you want to retreat, you'll have some cover fire. Come on, Necron Lord, are you afraid of a predator? This year. So now I have uh, all the Terminators, let me build a command squad. And I might just um, build like frag grenades, I think usually are good for, um, you know, like, uh, how is it, uh, like, when they are a tight formation and you want to disperse them, like, uh, make them not shoot you and be able to um, get into range. Then we have anti vehicles. I think like no those fear. are like no uh, no those bombs that assault uh, squad carry. I think kind of. 
Okay, and here we have the command squad. Perfect. So you can have an apothecary, a veteran soldier, and a standard a standard bearer. Plus, you can have heavy bolters and uh, launchers, missile launchers. Okay, I don't want to kill this guy. Okay, so you free stay here, and you terminate is going on the other side and try not to be too aggressive. Well, yeah, that's a good joke. Tell, tell a Dark Templar, don't be too aggressive. Okay. So, I think that's... Yeah, those are all. So you have plasma generator for uh, those deposits, but there are no deposits on this map. You build some other... Oh, wait, what, what are you building here? I, I don't like that. Okay, Crusader Squad. Ah, I see. So you followed that guy and killed him. Very well done. Perfect. Now, let me just capture all the points and hope he doesn't revive. And also we can drop a venerable dreadnought on the battlefield. Okay, Chaplin. I, I know you want to kill stuff, but go back for now. Go back. Okay, so here is the venerable dreadnought. He can have plasma cannons or multi -mental. Whichever you take it, he is annoying. To deal with. Oh my god. I also love the banner there. Very cool. Like, very cool, uh, like the models. So, let's uh, send the commander squad back. Well, I know this was kind of an e easy match. Even though the AI is a lot better than normal, but it's kind of easy. But the idea is to understand the basics of the mod, that's all. Like, when I play against Insane or something like that, I don't usually want to talk about how my units are. And I usually focus on how to kill them as fast as I can, before they can do anything. Okay, do we have other stuff? I Maybe I want to put a Land Raider Crusader on the battlefield. That's the last thing, and then I'll kill them. And for that, I might just upgrade the listening post if I can. Yeah, I can do that thing. And now we have uh, also new research like Sword Brother and Ten Terminator Honors. Increases their melee damage and armor rating. Terminator Honors, that, yeah, you, you have a text there, so for more information you can always uh, uh, read. But it allows uh, increased damage in close combat, slight increased castle and recruitment, it is uh, a lot of... I think, does this change? I think this is affects the castle, right? Let's see, let's see, that's, that sounds cool. Plus, uh, Power Fists we got, Sacred Artifacts. And the second commando hero upgrade and sword terminator. So I'm really curious. Ah, and the vulnerable dreadnought is considered like we have him as a hero here, and also the command squad. Perfect. Poor Necrons. Come on. Look at look at those guys kill like Okay, there are two of mine, but how many of them? You will not be forgotten or something like that. You see, they are kind of in constant frenzy here. You see? Now, 
And also these guys. But I don't know if I wanna have my Crusaders, but maybe, maybe I should put him on the Terminator squad. Why not? With me, brothers. Yeah, there we go. So now the Terminators get friends. I, I mean Zeal, I don't know why I'm saying why plates. What is his I know too much of Black Prevail Rage and all that stuff. Yeah. Assault Sorry. Position. So now we can build it. It's kind of costly, this uh, land raider procedure. Let's see how good he is. I am ready to do whatever you require. Okay. Oh, I see. The builder can throw grenades. That's fun. He's like, I'm Rambo, yeah. I wish all the Space Marines had, uh, like, uh, in the game, had tech for uh, Marine Builders. Like, that's a lot cooler than those servitors, in my opinion. And they should have made, um, like, uh, no, the Machine Cult as a separate race. Where the servitors and all that stuff goes. Okay, and Skull Pro plus Skull Infiltration, that's good for um, Tau, for example, because they have a lot of you know, stealth units, and you really need Skull Probes to detect them. Okay, now this isn't even funny. Anyways. No worries, Necrons, I will kill you soon enough. It is ours, ready to attack the next position. The crusade continues. Okay, now we are in business. I wanna test something here, let's see. I'm very curious, I know that uh, Land Raider Crusaders well, Land Raiders can transport Terminators. They are the only one. Rhinos are too small for Terminators. Like, look at those guys. How, well, they are kind of bigger than the normal Space Marines. So, they'll be like, oh, damn. In a Rhino. I don't wanna see. Because they, I played the mod. I'm not sure. Maybe it won't work. Ah, it didn't work. Sadly enough, yeah. would be too cool. Well, at least I built a Dreadnought here. And the Dreadnought has a lot of stuff here. Heavy Flamer, multi melta Assault Cannons, Twingling, Auto Cannons, Blast Cannons, and Plasma Cannons. Well, a lot of cannons, let's just say that. A lot of deadly things. So, let's kill him and end this match once and for all. Okay, so I hope you found the video in uh, good. You found the information quite useful. And if I um, didn't mention something, like, I don't know, I skipped maybe I other. Smart. Yes, if I skipped any important information, then I will leave in the um, description section so you can read it. And also, if I made mistakes, please correct. So, um, yeah, hopefully you'll fight uh, as a better Black Templar and kill a lot of stuff. Just go ahead, kill stuff. Come on, come on. So, have fun and see you in the next video.